have our enemy uh, that uh, is not in the right <laughs> layer. Remind you of something. Okay, main layer, and the enemy is going uh, where it wants. So, it's not good. Let's change that. Create a new group. Underneath the coin. And first, we want to kind of tell it to go either. Uh, to move either at uh, zero degree, uh, just to show you. Uh, ooh. Okay, here it's zero degree. Here it's eighty, uh, eighty, ninety. Here it's one hundred and eighty, and here it's two hundred and seventy. Okay, you can consider uh, the other way around, you know the the angle uh, in this direction will be minus uh, 90, etc. But you just have to remember this for now. So we want our um, enemy to go to zero, to a zero degree angle and then when it collides, goes back to 180 and then go back to zero. 180. By default, let's set them to zero degree. Let me see something. Set angle acceleration. So by default, zero degree. Angle of motion, zero degree. And when they collide, and me collision with collider, you change to angle to 180. Uh, oh, I have problems with number today. Whew. But you want to do that only if he is not going in this direction. So uh, you will first check the angle of motion. You can't access it here. When you can't access a property here, you have to use the system compare two values. So enemy dot uh, It's the name of the behavior and angle of motion. If it's equal to zero, you go back. Else, you go to zero degree. Okay. So let's see what happens. Uh -huh. I have my colliders on the other layer as well. Okay, I will select this layer so I don't make any mistake le next time. Okay, where are you? Main. Hmm? Where? Pretty weird. I will also tick off bunts of solids because. Uh, it was doing some uh, nasty thing, I, s I think. And uh, main, main. Oh yeah, they should be all invisible. <laughs> I only have one invisible. Okay. Oof, oof. Okay, back and forth, enemy. It was a bit hard to get started, but uh, you have your back and forth enemy. So I will recap because it was a bit. Clunky. You need colliders. You don't need them to be solid. If they were solid, you would you wouldn't be able to go on the on the platform. So it's simple sprites. You just take them to invisible because you don't need to see them. Then you need uh, an enemy with something to make it move. The bullet behavior is good to make uh, things move in the direction you want. So I, I use the bullet. It's totally possible to make the movement yourself in event. But I don't want to uh, go uh, this direction for now. 
I will maybe make a, another video just on how to handle, handle movement by yourself. But for now, we use the bullet behavior to make this object move. And when it collides with um, collider, you check in which direction it's going. If it's going at zero degree, you make it go at 180 degree. Else, you make it go at zero degree. So you have back and forth. Now, the problem you all always uh, beginner always the problem you always have with enemies is that there are more than one enemy so when you make your uh, you do your test always work with at least two enemies just to check everything is working let's see if it's working it's working uh, for those who already saw my picking um, video you might uh, see this um, as uh, something a bit wrong. Uh, since the system doesn't do picking, you might think that uh, this uh, might go a bit uh, not uh, as you would want. <laughs> Uh, but the picking is made by the collision event, and it's the trigger will trigger for each enemies. It's as if you had already a for each implied in this event, so uh, you don't need to run a for each for uh, this part. I, if you don't quite understand what I'm saying here, I strongly, uh, strongly suggest you go see the video I've made on picking. Um, so yeah you have uh, the things working what you can do here is uh, using the choose action uh, action choose expression you find in system near not far away from random because it's another way to do a random thing you can choose between 0 or 180 so when you start your uh, your layout they go either one way or the other here it happens they choose the same yeah and here they go to the opposite direction which is a good test to test what I've said here they have uh, they are con considered one by one okay so we have our back and forth enemy this system is working well the downside of this system is that you have to put uh, colliders everywhere where you want enemies. You want an enemy here? Yeah, so put some colliders. Yes, it will fall from the... Well, it won't fall since it's a bullet behavior. It will just continue like that. Which would be a bit ugly unless you are doing some... Uh, this kind of bullet uh, in uh, Mario. The shark bullet. So uh, you have your back and forth, and I think that's the easiest way and the more visual way to handle uh, back and forth in me. The problem with the cine behavior is that you have no parameters for speed. You only have a magnitude, which tells you how far you go from your uh, starting point. A magnitude of uh, 50, I think it's 50 on this side or 50 on this side or 50 of uh, total, I don't remember. Let's try this. I will activate, uh, I can't deactivate the bullet behavior here. Mm, I will clone this object, so I will have the same behavior already. It will just not uh, be used in the event. I will remove the bullet and just see what the 50 means here. To uh, see what it means, I can just change the size of this one to 50 and position this one here. Let's see. Okay, activate the behavior and make it visible, please visible okay so yeah that's the 
50 means how much you you change from the starting position on each side. So if you want to handle speed from only this, da this data, you will have to calculate uh, the period of the movement. Here it's uh, it means um, in four seconds you will do this, this, and this. You will do 50, I think it's that. Huh? One, two, three, four. Yes, I think it's the, the period is uh, to go from here and go back from here. So from the period and the magnitude, you would, no, from the magnitude, sorry, you would have to evaluate from a given speed how much the period, how much period you should have. So it's, uh, yeah, exactly, the Luc, uh, Luc, how? Luc Di Rago, Luc Di Rago. I will call you just Luke, like Luke Skywalker. So yeah, period equals frequency divided by magnitude equals, uh, and magnitude, yeah, frequency, anyway. Uh, no, period is frequency, I think it's uh, one over period, uh, etc. But I when you handle the back and forth with the sine behavior, sign behavior, you will need some math to make it work as you want. You wouldn't want to have enemies that uh, go faster than other enemies according to how much uh, they go. If I put uh, 100 in magnitude, you'll see that uh, one will look like it goes uh, faster than the other. That's the problem with the sign behavior. So you you just have to choose. Uh, do you want me to show you how to handle speed with the sign behavior? Is it interesting to you? Or do you want me to move on to uh, stomping? Okay, you are asking for some math, I see, not scared. Uh, so, uh, uh, what I did is my original, and that's the one we will keep, I think, but I will show you with the, the sign behavior how to, to make it work. So I have, I have my enemy, enemy sine or enemy sign uh, here, I will even change their their color, so we we see them uh, as being as not being the same as these ones. I will remove this one. So we have two uh, enemies hanging in the air, and I will show you how to handle this. So the the period is something you want to calculate on start of layout. It won't change. They will always have the same magnitude. So to handle the period, I will do this in start of layout in a new sub event, so uh, it's uh, separated. And uh, so the period is exactly this one here. Enemy cine set uh, cine period to this. What happens here? The as I as I uh, showed you, the one period is exactly it's the start. One period is first uh, this, then this, then this. So the the period in one period you. Um, travel four times the magnitude. That's the distance you travel. Um, you have you want a speed. That, this is what you want because you want your enemies to go from here to here. What you want as well is a given speed. 
let's say uh, 100 pixel by second and you have a formula that binds speed distance and time this formula is speed or vitesse vitesse you say vitesse in english i think